I just wonder what would happen if one day, like, the police raid your home and, like, they, they, they bring out all the evidence of what like, they like found. You have, you have to go on a watch list, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we found an anal lube, like, uh, two crates of firecrackers, it, and, uh, if, and battery acid, and, and bromine. Of bromine. If, 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 I'm a, if I'm a dictator, you're on my list. Of like, <laughs> we, I like, watch this guy. Like, yeah. just keep an eye. Yeah. Like, don't do anything weird. Just, just, just see what he's ordering on Amazon. <laughs> just have a look. I think that, like, I mean, your Amazon order list must be insane. <laughs> yeah, so the Amazon stuff is fine. I mean, there was yeah. there was a heyday on on eBay that was like I kind of miss. Right. Well, there what's was, this heyday? Well, we could just so play weird there was shit. a period in time where you couldn't get any of those chemicals. So yeah. like that's why I was trying to make all. Them. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Then there was this time where everything was available on eBay, like stuff right. that was like nobody should be selling. Yeah. Like right. what? Um, <laughs> some of them were like literally just straight up listed as like. Uh, felon, like I, I don't exa exactly remember which chemicals, yeah. but it's like, well, I think it's, I think one of them's like, I forget, not, it's not ethanol. I think it's ethanolamine mm. right. or something. One of them's just made to make, like used to make mustard gas. So it's like, <laughs> it, they're not really, like you can't- And it, eBay it's, was it's like, a, oh, it's buy one, get one free. <laughs> to, like they're very heavavily controlled. Right, right, right. Um, I think importing it is just like, you can't do it. Yeah, you can, yeah, yeah. You can actually, weird enough, you can manufacture up to like a kilo, mm. I think without a license, but you just can't <laughs> export it or import it. Okay, so is that, does that happen with a lot of chemicals? You can make your own, but you there's can't- a, There's a surprising a lot about like, um, like I give, not to go off on a huge tangent, yeah. but like uh, when I was making uranium glass, I really wanted to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I like, that's such a good sentence. <laughs> when I was making uranium, I- <laughs> No, no, glass. Okay, okay. So uranium I got glass. some uranium. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just casually. Like. Okay, that has to put you on a list. Yeah. I refuse to believe you can buy uranium no, so, and not go on a list. So listen, so I got some uranium. Yeah. Okay. Where? From, from Yo, where? Through undisclosed. <laughs> um, no, you can buy it. Like, I mean, tech, you can buy in the US, you can buy uranium <laughs> and they'll just ship it to you. I actually don't remember where I got it right. from. Like, you gotta remember where you got uranium <laughs> from. Uranium. <laughs> and like, you know, what like, you, you know, you remember where you got uranium you, from. You know how YouTube would just have packages. You should just get fan packages. You're like, oh, another fan box of uranium. Yeah. Fucking, oh, cringe, I mean, that could have been where it came oh from. Oh my God. Know. Do fans send you chemicals? No, okay. I don't really get anything. I, don't, I I have a PO box, but I always forget to tell people that even exists. Right, oh, it's okay. been three years. Oh, and I think yeah, I've it's gotten one. Good thing. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. just anal lube. It's but, yeah. <laughs> but for the okay, uranium, so getting, yeah, okay. I was very concerned. Like for for a lot of my videos, I find that I get hyped about it, and then like right when the video's done or about to be done, I start to get concerned about the legal implications. <laughs> um, so like the uranium glass one. Yeah, yeah. Who? I thought it was, I thought it was like it's cool. You make uranium glass, but then when it was done, I'm like. Is it legal to work? Wait, wait. With so so what's what's the difference between uranium glass and regular glass? It just glows under like a black light. It just glows because it does, does like it, glow in the dark. Does it have like uranium it in, in it? Dark. It yeah, yeah, yeah. But like a very small amount. Because uranium glows under oh, right, UV, right, right, right? Yeah. So it's yeah. like some forms of uranium yeah. glow. It's <laughs> yeah. so, so, it nothing to do with the radiation. Oh, okay. really? So this is the point. Like I called the government and I was like. <laughs> I had to call like- It's on speed dial? Like, <laughs> no, it took actually, it was a lot of work to find the right number. Yeah, right. And I called them and was like, is it legal? At the time I was like, hypothetically, <laughs> if I wanted to work with uranium. So, 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 so I got funny. a friend who's procured some so, yeah. uranium. And I was like, if I wanted to make glass, like what's the legal implications? Yeah. And I was like, honestly appalled with what they told me. Yeah. The guy said, Almost all of the laws are related to if you're using radioactive material yeah. for its radioactive properties. But the right. glow in the dark, not glow, it's not glow in the dark, like fluorescent property of uranium glass yeah. is a property of like the uranium, not the radioactive part. So there's there's nothing- Well, yeah, because really, they, they used to make dials, right? Uranium- So uh, that would be controlled, you, you can't do that. Like, oh, really, you, you can't. can't? That's radium, which is even worse. It's a oh. million times more radioactive. Oh, oh yeah, the oh. thing in watches, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, yeah. they used to have it on World War II planes, right? The, for, they would, to, for the for night? The paint is like, yeah. you don't want to, but so if you did that, <laughs> because the radiation is directly related to why it glows, like you'll get slapped with, with all these regulations. Yeah. But oh. because the uranium has nothing to do with the UV under, a, like under a black light glowing, huh. he goes, there's technically, 
no law. Because no one would, no one would be, how the, who is get it buying you anyone doing this, right? Cause no well, one would do it. He goes, cause the other one is like for, it's for like nuclear power and all this stuff. He's like, these are the, they have laws for waste management yeah, and all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, but for like hobbyists making glass, he's like, there's, <laughs> so I asked him like, what do I do with the waste that I made? I'm like, yeah, I have yeah, like yeah. papers that are contaminated with uranium. Yeah, yeah. I have like other stuff. And he told me, he goes, honestly, if I'm going to tell you by the law, you can just throw it in the garbage. <laughs> he goes, he goes, you can just, he goes, is it less than a kilo? I think. And I'm like, well, yeah, it's like maybe 50 grams. He goes, legally, you, you don't, you can just throw it out in the regular <laughs> wow. garbage. And I was like, and he, and he goes, but we strongly prefer if you don't. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to make you. I'm not going to make yeah, you say what you did. No, I, I, I saved yeah. it all. I just, oh, you saved I just it. Oh, okay. it. I just saved okay. it because I have like a little. And you put it in like. Um, I have a little like cabinet for it. Uh, but he's just like we strongly prefer you down. <laughs> and I was just like, that's very sketchy. Yeah, I'm sure he would probably yeah. have been quite worried. So I was going to yeah. ask like either that or like you must have some lawyer who is absolutely sick of you. Who you're like, hey. Oh, we've never talked like to a lawyer. You don't have a lawyer. No. I feel you, like you, you should have a lawyer out of any yeah. YouTuber. Forget forget lawyer. Do you have insurance? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, good, okay. good. Okay, good, good, good. good. Your insurance bill must maybe be insane. I need, yeah. Maybe I need more after. Yeah. Yeah. You're like calling up like Geico, like, uh, so uranium poisoning, right? Yeah. It was um, really hard to get insurance. Yeah, yeah I can imagine. Yeah, I, Fucking what hell. You, what are you, like, what are you insured against? Like, yeah. Actually, yeah, what are, what are you insured? Like, liabilities. What, what, are, liabilities. What, are you, what are you listed as? Yeah. Like, are, are you like are you educational? Like, what is it? It's, it was really hard to like register as a business. I was gonna say, yeah, right? Like yeah. it must be hard, but you, obviously you have to do it because you can't be doing this stuff for fun and publishing it and making money, right? Um, I wish I could, you could. I, mean, I mean, what's actually, so going back even further, like when I was, the most sketchy period in time was when I did everything at my parents' house. <laughs> the ke chemicals were just stored in the room and it was like, just, it was pretty sketchy. sketchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and there, <laughs> there was one time a bottle. Uh, I've already gone too far. I have to okay. say, I made something called um, the name now benzyl chloride. I think you've I've heard about this in your videos. Which is, it was like a vague. It, it used to be used as a tear gas. I think it was used in one of the world wars. I don't remember. <laughs> or right. they didn't actually make it. Was it's just like a tear gas and it just irritates your eyes. Uh -huh. And the I'm bottle corroded anymore. and leaked into the room with all the chemicals. But that kept, that room is nobody goes in it. Except my dad goes in there to play guitar, <laughs> and for like for like we didn't. Like, dad, why are you crying? No, we didn't. The, the big thing about it is it feels like very very mild onions. Right. So right, it's right. like there were so, like for like we couldn't figure out what it was. Like, we yeah. kept searching. You don't breathing wise, you don't notice anything. Yeah. You know? But it would be after you're in the room for like maybe an hour. You would just start to get like irritated. But the thing is that it would last for like hours. Yeah. Oh, so like. Shit. My dad and I, for like a week or two, would go to bed. I remember just like tears pouring out of my eyes, and we just didn't know what it was. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Who are these ninjas chopping onions, bro? <laughs> but that was that was one of the big times. I'm like, I have to just like this is like time for because yeah, right now you yeah. have you, you have your own do you have your own lab, right? Yeah, and like yeah. everything is like up to code. That's mm, crazy. That's good. That's, that's good. good. That's, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's, I'm, I'm I also, that, that must have, I also yeah. don't store any chemicals that like could potentially leak and yeah. cause any problems. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I don't yeah. like keeping those. Was that like a process then getting your own place and, and getting it so, all sorted? Kind of why I mentioned this. When I first started my parents' house, I emailed the government yeah. and was like, how do I get like a permit to, I want to yeah. be able to order chemicals. And their answer was kind of like, just don't. it doesn't give you anything. Like getting, oh. getting certified as a lab yeah. is just bad. Right. Cause oh. they're like, what it allows you to do is basically have people work there. Oh, like it's like, right. it's like you get a bunch of other like abilities that make sense in certain businesses. Mm -hmm. But if you're just doing hobby chemistry. There's no point. They said they kind of do, what's the difference between you being like a painter and you right, buy a bunch right. of it, you want to make your own paints. Like what's that different than what I'm doing? Mixing solvents, doing a bunch. I'm just saying like, uh, I, I, I get it, I get it, I get your point. So there's, like, it's I very hard. Few yeah. reasons, I'm saying it's very hard to like, make laws against right so there's yeah, actually right. i remember yeah, yeah. i remember talking to a chemical uh distributor and i caught i mentioned a chemical license and he freaked out at me a little bit he didn't freak out he's kind of like went, what are you talking about chemical license and i'm like he goes you know that doesn't exist <laughs> and you can because the license you get is with individual at least in canada individual chemical companies oh. and it's up to their discretion to sell to you Oh. And if it's not on a list of like prohibited chemicals that yeah. like, it's like a drug. Yeah. It's just up to their, li it's liability, whether they want to sell it to you or not. So like, there's no, if I buy some chemical that's kind of sketchy, like mm. bromine, 
Yeah. You don't, there's no permit that allows you to own it. Okay, Do you think there should be? Yeah. No, because only the the chemical companies have like a strong grip right. on who buys, who can buy right. stuff. Right, I mean, it's right, so heavily right, regulated. Right. And they will even, only yeah, yeah. sell to like established businesses.